Welcome to the testing word. So in this session, I'll give you basic understanding of Ruby mine environment. And previously we have seen how we can set up this environment. So now I'm coming to the Ruby mine. So we have installed this Ruby mine previously. Whenever you want to start your work on Ruby mine, you just need to go to the file and create a new project. Again, it will show like whatever the name you want to give. I'm just giving automation because you can do automation of the selenium water or maybe any other automation. So I'm just giving automation and that's the Ruby which you are using in your system. Just create uh, open in the new window or the current window. I want to keep it on the current window. I don't want to open new window. So here, if you notice a project is created over here, once the project is created, now I'll show you basic operations. So in this project, I want to create some Ruby files. And previously we have seen, we need to create class. We need to create directory structure or I'll say the project structure. So I'll show you how we can do the task. If you can right click on the project and here you are getting the option of file. Once you click file, it will ask what is the file name. If I'm giving like TC 001, I want to create my first test case. So now it's asking which kind of file you want to create. I'm just searching RU, so means Ruby. As I click OK, so here you will notice a Ruby file is created. And now you are ready to write code in this Ruby file. We can use print for printing something on the console. So I'm using hello word and if you notice this obj is coming so it's a help it shows that is a string but here in ruby this is an object you are putting an object over here it's just a help which is coming automatically now i have written this if you want to execute your code run run which file you want to execute i want to execute tc001 as i select at the bottom, you will get the console and here we are getting answer. So that's the first file which we are going to create in our Ruby project, which is simple Ruby file. Next option I'll show you is Ruby class. While learning Ruby programming, we have seen we can create Ruby classes. So here we can select Ruby class. What is the name you want to give? I'm giving A. You can give any name if you notice a class is created over here. So again, you can write your code here. You can write methods like def, hello, and that's the end of the method. And I want to print, hello, this is testing word. You can print anything. We have created a class and simple Ruby file. When One more thing I want to display here. When we are going for the automation, we are going to create a directory structure, folder structure, I'll say. So here we can select a folder and we can give any name. As of now, I'm just giving a driver. So a folder structure can be created inside your project. So that is, again, we are going to use very frequently. So here we have seen most common files and folders that we are going to use. So we are going to create a directory, Ruby files and the classes. And we have seen how we can execute this. So we have the option run and we can execute our file from here. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video. Hi friends. Hope you are enjoying this video. If you have any question regarding this video, you can ask your question in the comment section. Also, I would request you to please subscribe our channel. You can subscribe it by clicking on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis also we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price we have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities if you are interested to buy any video course or all video course you can call or whatsapp us on this number also you can be in touch with us by using facebook linkedin or twitter happy learning